So next, we're going to talk about boundaries. And I'm not talking about the types of boundaries that is just drilled into our minds right now. I'm talking about boundaries that our schools create to help protect those within and to invite those to join, but on our terms. Boundaries. So I want you to think of the boundaries of your school. What are they? Who's established those boundaries? Talk about the boundaries at your school. Go. All right, here we go. When you, when you think about boundaries, because each school is different, because while the missions are probably much the same, the feel of a school is different. If you're a school renting a basement from a church and you're only four years old and you're outgrowing your space already, you have boundaries because you're renting space from a church. And come Sunday morning, when they want to come in and use that, those classrooms, if your stuff is not stashed out of the way, you're going to hear from the church lady. Right? That's a boundary. Another boundary, again, as I think about my role as teacher, a boundary for me has been, is, will be this to my students. And now to some employees, most, in fact, all, I will say, I am friendly, but I am not your friend. To a 15-year-old struggling in school, seeking for mentorship, wanting to get into the heart, needs to hear, I am not your friend. I will be friendly. I'm, here. I'm your teacher. That's a boundary, at least for me as a professional. So uh, John Green, when's your birthday? March 11th. March 11th. We're not asking. <laughs> Who has a birthday in March? What's the day? March 28th. March 28th. 15th. That's close enough. Tell us the boundaries. <laughs> boundaries at your school. So you talked about this in a few different ways. One was boundaries with our students and mm. creating those boundaries. So how do you do that with technology? How do you do that in a way that is uh, progressive and flexible? Um, we also talked about physical boundaries. So some of us are in a space that um, a downtown area where you, you want your kids to That's a great point, and I want to expand that just a moment. Some of your schools, some of your fantastic schools, have almost schools within schools, right? And sometimes parents will come and visit one of the schools within a school, and they'll look at the other school and say, that's kind of a higher level school. Is there ever a time where my child can come in at this part of your school and do so well and then accelerate to the other part of your school? That's an interesting message, and you have to establish boundaries right in the beginning. Well, that's, that seldom happens at our school. So those boundaries are really important so that you stick to your mission, right? Boundaries protect those inside, and they're not a bad thing. Boundaries are not bad. You're doing really well. Does anybody else have a boundary message they want to share? Any other volunteers? Now we're getting into the volunteer scene. Yes, tell us about boundaries at your school. Well, What's the message? I want to share the boundaries that Aaron shared with us, actually. I didn't think that's how we were doing this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hold on. Well, well, we are now. <laughs> Okay, this is at Marburg? Yes. Okay, and the word was ripcord. We all know that the ripcord's right about here. It's usually right here. Pull it, and then your backup chute comes out if you need it, or your primary. <laughs> all the schools that are here, does anybody else have the term ripcord at your school? So that's a Marburg cultural piece. That's, that's great. So that, and that, your students use the word ripcord? Yes, they do. They talk about, that's a really cool thing. That's a great 
example of, of how your school has this thing that works for them. Community. Great. Let's move on.